Hello, everybody. Um, let's see. I'm here to kind of show you what I've been doing in my world, and basically my way of getting build craft power. A pretty easy way, and it gets me quite a bit of this. Yeah, this is just, I was messing around with lava and geothermal generators to see how much it was giving me here. All I really have is a macerator, so nothing really good here. And I just have a lot of chests here from coming from my quarry. So, I just started a new quarry, by the way. So we're going to run over here where my little power spot is, and I don't have any, anything, no food, no food for me. So if you see right here, you can see the big oil thing, not too much oil in there. But if you look at it right here, I'm using combustion engines, just two right now, I'm going to make three. Mm, and I never connected this again. But right now, um, it's really far apart. I mean, putting it far apart for a reason, because every time I do this, and I have them close to each other, they always, they always end up blowing up. So I've been decided to use one pump per combustion engine. So, and I guess refinery, but I'd have to unconnect that. But I think that's pretty good. So of course, I have the oil that's getting pumped out here, which my engines are off. There's a huge oil well all the way down there. There was it was above the above it before. I'm going into here through a valve pipe and into refineries. Which then I can get this going, which is through a power teleport pipe over to my quarries that are over here. There's a crystal down there I need to go get. And that's how I'm getting everything. This just started and I look like I found a cave already. Wow. Which I'm going to jump down there. Go get that crystal. Why not? Ooh, two crystals. Sweet. And a zombie. The eyes are glowing. I don't know if that will do more damage with a drill. Rather than my hand. I can try it though. Ooh. Why have I never found this cave? It's kind of cool. So... Let's go back up here. So I have a tons of mods installed if you wanna look over here. 34 pages. Uh, most of them are those red power blocks, but yeah, you, can, you get the point. Lots of, lots of blocks. <laughs> that thing is a pain to make. If you watch Feed the Beast with me, holy cow. It is a pain. So what I am planning on doing is I probably will, I'll say that, oh crap, I don't even want to use these combustion engines anymore because, well, why not just use something that won't explode all the time, which I will probably end up doing. So I'll have peat-fired engine, not peat-fired, uh, biofuel engines to power all this stuff, and I think they give out about the same power amount. I don't know. Well, you can see these refineries. They don't need to be worked too hard, and the fuel will do quite a bit for you. And this little bit of oil will mine out like 30 quarries. I'm just doing the small ones for now. I'm going to end up expanding it and doing the big ones, but yeah. So let's come over here, and I can. Sh I just whacked my mic. I'll show you what else I've done. I have a tiny cactus farm over there. I can't even get through through it. Another, right there. Yeah, duh. And that's the quarry pipe. I have a little bit of a sugar cane thing over there. And that needs to be harvested really bad, but I haven't felt like doing that. So, into here. Right here, we have a Thomcraft seal. And my ores. I just used all my diamonds, so I have, like, no diamonds at all. So I haven't made a sorting machine yet. And I think when I do, I'll make a video on it, on how to make it and everything. I'll have all the supplies and crap ready and the in right engines and stuff for over here right here I just have some lava and a geothermal generator but I'm not really using anything right now ow let me find my food much better when I have food I have bread somewhere don't I oh right here told you I had it okay so what I did is I just went underground and dug a ton
ton of, you know, I'll go iron. A ton of stuff. And I started uh, getting the lava up here just through teleport pipe. I love these things. With a balance pipe to keep it balanced, I do need one more tank up there. Uh, once I get that tank, it should be pretty good, though. If you didn't know that, that's how you make a tank right there. So. There we go. So it balances it out through that pipe and gets it right in level. We're getting coal. Cool. So that's already starting to pay off all these ores. The core does good. Does good. So we got a Thomcraft thing here. Oh yeah, see the geothermal generator. Totally better than a normal generator. A little bit of lava will keep it running for a long time. And then I can just open the valve pipe to let more lava in. But I'm going to keep it shut because it doesn't need more lava at the moment. So now we can sleep. And that's my, vet, my, that's my bed, everyone. Whew. Okay. So right here we have a Thomcraft portal. A seal. Which I turned off because it was getting annoying when I was opening just chest and stuff. So we're going to open it. And we can walk through. Haven't done too much with Thomcraft, but I have a little infuser and that. That's the one thing I need to start doing is get some, is start researching some items. And jungle biomes always seem to have the highest visa value. I don't know why, but they do. See, that's a great wood thing, which means um, that's kind of helping the vis go up. So yeah, I don't really want these crystals. Well, I do, but why not waste them and show you how this thing works? So when you put in, it's kind of like an EMC value. I put something in here, like there's better, better ones of these to make it better. But I put it in here, and it goes into this tank that just fills up with vis and taint. And then this thing right here will get rid of all the taint that I do not want, which I don't want any of the taint. So that's good. The infuser's made for. And I can give an example here. Just to make thom craft items, to make like that thom thingy, thomian ingot with iron and a vis crystal. I mean a vis, yeah, iron and a vis crystal. And you can get a thomian ingot and a depleted crystal with it. So uh, later I will probably show you guys what the depleted crystals, what you can do with those. And they're pretty useful though. So ooh. You can hear me like pounding on my keys here. It's a car. Um, equivalent exchange. I do have it installed, but I haven't used a lot, a lot of it. Ooh, what is it? Iodine. Hmm. Mostly because it it gets too easy if you use it a lot. So what I have made is a divining rod. Uh, I do have a transportation table right here, but I don't use it much. I normally use it for like just to transfer tungsten and the diamonds. That's how I seem to do it. And it looks like. I left this on. Oh, good job. <laughs> I guess I could run down there and turn on my lava pump again, though. So that's about everything that I've made so far in this world. So, I guess, see you guys on the next episode. Or, not episode. Next, next little video, I should say. It's not really a series. Yet, anyway. Yet. Not yet. So, see you guys. Okay, guys, one more thing. I just finished up the rotary macerator. To get all my ores macerated, of course. So, I've got my compressor there. And a ton of ores that I already took out of there. In here, started macerating. And, well, this is the rotary macerator. What this does is it kind of charges up. I waited for this to charge up all the way. I just finished, and I'm about to make another one. The induction furnace is what I'm going to make. Um, I'm going to need more refined iron. So first off, you need a machine block with advanced alloys and carbon plating to get that, that. And it's not with this, it's with bronze or copper, isn't it? I think it's with copper. 
try copper. Yep, with copper. This basically works exactly like the rotary mace right here. Plop it down and it can charge up, but it doesn't have power yet. That's why my geothermal generator actually starts up and does something for once. That will charge up and I need another lever. Throw that down, there we go. Now the heat will slowly rise to 100. Like this one, it went really fast though, but it goes to 10,000. And the uh, rotations per minute, I think, it goes up. And this thing is very fast, if you have not seen it before. And it doubles your ore, so it's really nice. So let's wait for this to heat up for a bit. Um, how about we come look over here, see if we got anything else worth of stuff. We got some crystals. Which is nice. Ooh, there's some copper. We should go check out the quarry. I think we should. We're gonna too. Ooh, I need to harvest my cacti too. You can see I'm actually starting to use oil now. And a lot of oil is being created. So this is like full too. Wow, it's always night when I run out here. Always night. Ooh, we found water. Dang. Doesn't make a difference, though. Let's run back and see what heat level it's at. Hmm, this is fun. Just jumping around. Make everything look nice. And there's this slime thing. Okay. I don't know why I opened that chest. It's like a force of habit. 22. So at 22, it's pretty fast. Faster than the normal one. And you can do two ores. But that's wasting energy, I think. That's just my opinion. Um, I got more mesh. That's that's a furnace. Gosh, it's like being stupid. Let's uh compress those up and get everything macerated. And copper gold real quick in here just so we can get gold because I like gold gold's good for you and we're still waiting so I'll come back when this is heated up to 100 okay it is not yet heated up by the way but I thought I might as well make this one too just for the heck of it I mean you don't want to leave out the compressor what would you do without a compressor so you get the singularity compressor now. I've never seen this one. And the redstone signal will hit it from these ones, so it's still good. And 84, and it's freaking fast. <laughs> but it's still wasting power, so we're gonna leave it. Ooh, we're losing power now. That's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, it's going back up. That was filling up, wasn't it? Any more good ores we got out here? Anything we need to macerate? No, not really. Or, 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 and it's all copper. Who would have thunk it? I love that thing. I think I love it. The compressor, I don't even know why I made it. It's not used for much. Ooh, it's getting close. We're gonna wait still. Hmm. 
97. So close, guys. It's like that close. It's gonna make it someday. It's gonna make it. I know it will. I know it will. There we go. So let's throw these in there. Oh, there we go. And look how fast that is. That's so much better than it was in the crappy little furnaces over here. And these are like not even moving. And now I got this thing that's going ultra fast. That is so sweet. So sweet. So then what I will be doing is getting logistic pipes going. I'll probably do some thumb craft in, be in between. Do some researching. Maybe I'll show you that guy, that guy, that stuff too. In a later stuff. Yeah. So there we go. Ah, come on. Oh, those are different. My bad. Thought they were the same thing. Okay, so that's about it that I wanted to show you guys. And it's night again. It seems like it's night more than day here. Yeah, I, I spawned in a strange world. And why we're here, let's just throw in that just for the heck of it. Why not? I mean, you might as well. I think it like goes through this and then into here to get to here. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. So, see you guys on the next one for the second time, I guess. If it comes on again, just... You, you, it's good for you guys. You get to watch more stuff. <laughs> okay, see you guys.